impending moment impending moment means is the is the point of movement movement means either slip or tip is the movement okay so that's impending motion impending tipping is the moment of tipping just the moment of the tipping impending impending slipping is the just the uh, the verge of slipping so they, there's always two scenarios either the object will slip or it will tip so when it will slip and when it will tip let me just summarize slipping will occur if your friction force has reached the limit if your friction force i've got p applied and i'm measuring the friction here and if this value has reached uh, your quotient of friction maximum quotient friction it will slip so if it slips it means your your r because this is your r for this w your i will shift and this is your x so if it slips it means your x is within the half width okay so let me explain it again remember there are just two things for the movement for the motion one is either it's going to tip or it's going to slip if it slip if it slip it means your friction force f calculated here this f will be uh, equal to mu n so it basically will reach the maximum limit mu s n goodness excuse me okay and if it slips then you need to find uh, the okay just a second <clears throat> i will also explain you how to verify your result <clears throat> So that's your F. That's my weight downward. And this is my R. Okay. Now, if I assume it's going to slip, then the F value I will take will be equal to mu S N. And I will solve my problem. Once I solve my problem, I have to verify that did I assume this right? Did I assume slipping scenario? And is it right or wrong? To verify that, you need to find your R dash. This is your X. You need to find your X. R is basically the movement. Remember, I give you an example of when you apply. Sorry, sorry, this is the wrong direction. So uh, I give you an example. Uh, of when you apply moment uh, when you apply your force your moment starts your r starts shifting as your x from the center line so if you assume it's going to slip you can use this equation and after using the equation you have to verify your assumption and to verify the assumption you need to find this x you need to find this x the value of this x should be less than half width of the foot, uh, half width of the body, uh, body footprint. Footprint is called this bit. So that's half. Okay. So if you use this equation, you verify this condition. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. The other scenario is the recording on. Should have started the recording just a second. Yes, sir, it's on. It's on. Okay. Okay. Now the other scenario is the tipping. So let us see the tipping. The scenario is tipping. Tipping means it did not slip. It did not slip means that my friction force F. So, oh, okay, sorry. That's my F here. This is my again W, and this is my R. Okay. If I assume it's going to tip, it means my X value, this X value is X is equal to half width. 
of the body and I will solve my problem. Once I've solved my problem, I will check the value of F. And my F value should be less than mu S N. Because it did not slip. So if I assume it's going to tip, I can use this that x is, the distance of x is half width. And to check my assumption, I need to check this condition. Is the friction force less than mu s n? If yes, my assumption is right. That's what exactly what it says here for tipping. And that what exactly what I mentioned for this is for slipping. You use this, you check this. You use this, you check this for tipping. Is that clear to everyone? Uh, sir, there's a question. Sir, we have to check the F in the second value of tipping. We have to condition overlap with the upper value that it is less than or equal to. So, if it is equal to, then we will have confusion in both of us. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. That is a very good point. It should be less than. Because yes, if it is equal to, to then yeah. you can take any you can take the tipping or oh, you equal to means it's either going to tip or is it's, it's the verge of tipping and slipping. Yes, sir. equilibrium. Okay, sir. Yeah, it's basically both. Uh either it's going to uh, it's the verge of tip or slip. Yes, sir. Same. Yeah, but I can rest assure you will not reach this condition. But this is theoretically, this is right. This is right. Look here. Uh, if you look at the uh, scenario, first scenario, it is very clear your friction force will be equal to mu S n. Okay. And this can also occur the, in the second scenario. Yes. Uh, if it's if it's less than, if it's less than, your show is going to take. What if the your x reaches the end and your friction is also equal to mu s n? What are you going to think now? What's going to happen? Can anyone answer? It has the tendency to do both. Yes, so you have to pick one. Like anyone. It so does. Yes. If we, if we increase the force, then it will uh, maybe, uh, tip over or slip. If yes, it, it is. It is the point. Uh, it's, it's the point where you you're on the edge of both conditions. It it seems like the, the question of friction value is a scenario where the question of friction and your your tipping scenario is very much balanced on a knife edge. Okay. Uh, so uh, therefore, this this condition given here is right. It is right. So in this condition, yes, you can pick any, but just to show it won't happen. Is that clear? Yes, sir. 